Promises kept. Oh, my husband. A new day dawns in Ishgard, and the house for Tom Knight has tidings for you. Oh. And a cutscene. Master Winwissive. Master Winwissive. You have come at a most excellent time. An invitation from a truly preeminent personage was delivered to the manor but a short while ago. Would that you had been present to receive it, but in any event, Sir Emmerich de Borrell, Lord Speaker of the House of Lords, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and Viscount of the House Borrell, cordially invites Master Winwissif to dine with him at his estate. You seem surprised. The messenger assured me that his lord had broached the subject with you at an earlier date, when the arrangements for the peace conference were still being finalized. Of course, the intervening moons afforded little opportunity for leisure, but with the happy advent of peace, tis plain the Lord Commander sees no further cause for to delay. What say you? Help! <coughs> what? I should be glad to accept. Indeed, who would not? Well, you will forgive me if I seem envious. Um. Uh -huh. I send word, I shall send word of your acceptance to Boral Manor at once. When you are ready, pray report to the astrologum. The astrologicum. <laughs> they will have someone escort you for the rest of the way. <clears throat> A date! I'm ready for my date with Emmerich. Greetings and well met, Master Winwissif. I have the honor and the privilege to serve as head steward of House Boral. Though, admittedly, our staff is somewhat smaller than those of noble families. Being countable, on one hand. Countable? Ahem. My lord will be overjoyed to hear that you have accepted his invitation. As you will soon see, we have spared no expense. I dare say a man of action such as yourself enjoys nary a moment's respite. Aye, the battlefield beckons even now, I'm sure. But for this day, we bid you lay down your burdens and raise a glass to peace and prosperity. Aww. <clears throat> Even a fire. Cozy. Oh my god, look at us on our date! <coughs> look at these two cuties. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> to think the Mughals would prove such harsh taskmasters. <laughs> I mean. Forgive me. I did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the horn. Oh, he's laughing. This one-sided conversation is hilarious, though. Wah, 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 wah. I must say, your spirited accounts always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. Oh, even Bum Bum don't want alcohol. I have to be sober for kicking ass, sorry. How oh, is it tea instead? Bun Bun remembers what happened last time they accepted drink from a stranger. <laughs> Too soon. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, to hear you speak of them, there is much and more I have yet to see. Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. Uh, though perhaps a bit too long for my liking. Why not join me on the next? Hey, wasn't all sunshine lemon cakes. Of course I'm going to invite Emmerich. <laughs> well, truth be told, when I think back on the sweeping vistas of the churning mists, I do feel some slight pangs of wanderlust. 
Hmm. Alas, much as I would like to accept your invitation, I fear my present duties with the House of Lords demand my undivided attention. Someday, perhaps. Hmm. I'll take you up on that. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. The formation of the Republic is but the beginning. For it is not only our system of governance which must needs change. We, the people, must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above our bloody past. I only pray that I live long enough to see us achieve some measure of success. That I might know the lost did not die in vain. Hmm. I can still see you there on the steps of faith, striding fearlessly towards the worm. If you could do that, who are we to balk at the challenges ahead? The question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. Of course, we owe you the greatest debt of all. And it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. Hmm. The Lords and Commons agree on very little, but not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Hmm. May I ask a personal question? Always. Now that the dust has settled, what will you do? Not as a scion, I mean, but... What do you want for yourself? Lord Commander, pray forgive <laughs> the interruption. I guess I don't get to answer. News from House Fulton. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. Uh-oh. Master Thancred returned to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Master Leveilleur and Mistress Tataru are tending to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. Who's the maiden? You must go to them, my friend. And I shall go with you. Oh, okay. Oh, good boyfriend. Good husband. He coming with me. For every ending marks a new beginning. Who the fuck is this voice? This isn't Daddy Fortaunt anymore. From tragedy and sacrifice we rise to greet a new dawn, as did he. Only to be drawn unto another battlefield, another cause, as if by fate. Hmm. Thancred's fine. Your husband's fine, Quinn. He had brought an injured maiden. He is not the injured maiden. <laughs> I don't know who this maiden could be. I have zero idea. Oh, shit. Cussy. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot what happened last time. Is that 
Alize, Alfino's twin sister. She ran afoul what of the Warriors of Darkness. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Sorry if you hear meowing. Tali woke up and chose voicing her concerns. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. I rescued her in the Twelfth Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. <laughs> Not to the knee? It was knee. only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poisoned. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, that didn't auto-scroll. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. We came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty power mongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. Mood. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distanced herself from the Scions. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. For all our differences, she's as dedicated as any Scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Oh. Gods, even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alfino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Alphano, is the warrior of light... Is he with you? D don't go. There is something I must say. I think this is the first time we've heard her new voice actress, actually. The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. They make for Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. You must... You must stop them. I... I shall inform the others at once. Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Hey! Surely, surely they won't let her... Ah, uh, yes, yes, I know. We must trust in Captain Whitecape and his... Chirurgeons, I think that's how you say it. Did they not bring Estinian back from the very brink of death? I am uncomfortably reminded of how he mocked me for praying at his bedside for days on end. What say you, my friend? Shall we turn our attention to a matter whose conclusion we have yet the... That we yet have the power to influence? Sure, I'm gonna take the money. Da da da. 
All right. Shadows of the First. I know those bitches. As Elfino and many others know all too well, there is no rest for the righteous. Oh, it's a cussing. Okay. So the warriors of darkness and the Asians are conspiring to bring about Garuda's summoning that they might put her to the sword. Then when we first encountered them in Lothes North, when they were confronting Ravana, gods, has this been their aim all along? What do you intend to do, Master Alphino? There is much and more I do not understand, but I know this. A primal summoning cannot be ignored. Alice risked her life to uncover this plot, and we squander her gift at our peril. Cat, will you accompany me to Zalfatal and help me stop the Ixil's ritual? I got you. Given that Ishgard shares a border with the Ixil homeland, we have vested interest in the outcome of this ritual. We have been willing to suffer the beastmen's intrusions into Corthan high lands at this Oh my god. We have been willing to suffer the beastmen's intrusion into Corthan lands to a point, but the summoning of a primal is an escalation we cannot abide. You shall have our fastest airship, Master Elfino. The mountains of Zalfatal are not easily traversed, and this endeavor demands all haste. The gestures must appreciate it, Sir Emmerich, but I fear an aerial approach is destined to fail. This is their homeland, after all, and Ixil dirigibles are not to be underestimated. No, experience tells me the only conceivable approach is by land. I believe it would be wiser to cross into Zelfatal by way of the mountain pass east of Camp Dragonhead. In that case, I shall send instructions for a contingent of the camp's knights to be placed at your disposal. They will secure you safe passage through mountains and escort you thence to Zelfatal. Though my men are unqualified to confront a primal, they are more capable of contending with the Ixil. We should be glad of their assistance, Lord Edmond. In the event Mistress Elise regains consciousness, we, sh we will share with you any additional information she may provide. May the Fury watch over you and keep you safe. Then let us be off. We can procure any additional supplies we require in Camp Dragonhead. Let's go! Da, na, na. Have you everything you require, then? Excellent. The entrance to the pass is north of Than Natalan and due east of Camp Dragonhead. Though it is normally guarded by a score of Ixal warriors, I have been informed the House Fortaunt Knights have already dispatched them. The enemy's gate lies open. But we need, we need but walk through. All right. Master Wimwissive, Master Alphano, as you can see, the gate is ours. Be advised that our scouts are reporting increased activity around the first mountain. Simply put, they are up to something, and we don't want anyone interfering. They don't want anyone. We stand ready to escort you to Zalfatal and aid you as you see fit. The enemy will be thick on the ground. Upon arriving, let us advance with care as we search... For the site of the summoning ritual. If the gods are good, we should have we should only have to contend with the Ixil, but if they are not, we may be forced to do battle with the warriors of darkness. Oh, okay, wait, let me see what the NPCs are. Please hold. It's probably just fucking Alpha No. Sorry, Alpha No, you're not worth two randos. Hell yeah. Okay. Hey, and we got a half hour. Let's go. Hell yeah. I don't remember what this place is. So it used to be that like I, there's one section where like enemies come in from like airships and you have to destroy the airship. But I don't think that's the thing anymore. I think they revised it so you don't have to destroy the airships anymore. Enemies will still come in, but it's a limited amount. That's all I know. Oh god, I'm so close. Oh god. That's a long AoE. 
It's been revised? Oh no. <laughs> well, it's just simpler, I think. But honestly, I don't remember it too much. Either way, I just remember that. Oh my god, Fender, you you pull however much you wanna. I got you. And if I don't, we'll find out. <laughs> Fender, for those that don't know, Fender posted in the chat. Hello, let me know your speed you're comfortable with, healing friend. One, steady single pulls. Two, casual double pulls. Three, wall-to-wall -wall mayhem. Wait, they revamped it, but it was fine as it was. I know. Angry Miko voice <laughs> noises. I know exactly the meme you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's because a lot of people just wouldn't realize you need to attack the airship, so they probably just pulled it. Hisses and growls. Ah. I got stuck behind a toad. Sorry. I'm on sprint. It's fine. I have to itch my nose. This is really inconvenient. Ah! I was itching! Shit. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I, this song just reminds me of 10. Dun, 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 dun. Itchy nose, itchy nose. Sophie Patty Mo too, yeah. No itch, only scratch. I vaguely remember this one. Don't we have to like be blown up into him to knock him down or something? Uh. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if they revised that too or not. Doesn't seem like it. All right. Fuck this chart. Ah! Yeah, we have to be blown up under him. Whee! Otherwise, he stays up there chilling like a dick. Airstone? I assume. Oh, God. There's two airstones. Okay. Okay, well, they're dead. <laughs> I didn't even get to touch him. Amazing. Oh, wolf. Oh, he was fine. Not on my screen, but he was fine. One person has to be knocked up into him. Yeah. Well, that was easy enough. Let's go. Don't wait. This night's almost over. Excuse me. Oh, why is my nose hurting? Right by my piercing. Fuck. It's so hard to itch your nose when there's a piercing in the way. Don't ask why did Mella pick the first time? I don't know. Probably muscle memory. Oh, this. I got too into the music. I was distracted. Why did your tank die? Um, I was really jamming to the dungeon music. Apologies. <laughs> All right. I 
guess just center. Da -da -da -da. I think it's in the next area. If you want to jam, maybe you should have rolled Bard. Nah. Nah. It's fine. Healer is easy. Look at me. All I gotta do is open up treasure chests and hit one button. Alright, well. Bone Key is my stripping name. Let's go. Death from Vibin has happened to me many times during forward and backward. That's fair. That's very fair. Oh, bye, Carbuncle. Bye, Anna! What? Who did that? Wait, how does Anna come back? Oh! <laughs> it pushed me out of the doorway! <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, God! Wait, Wolf, come back! There are apparently two! <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. Also even funnier that Wolf's character looked like they were crossing their arms like, damn it. <laughs> There's apparently another lift. Oh my god, that was so funny. Worth it. That was hilarious. Da -da, da -da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah! Rude. Da -da 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 Guys, stop splitting the party, gosh. Who's the one that pulled the lever? It wasn't me. Was it Fender and that's why he's saying it? Probably. But then he's gonna be like, no, it wasn't me. How dare you accuse me? And it was actually Wolf. Who knows? I don't know. It could eat. Why did I just heal myself? Could be either of them, honestly. Doddle, do, Dodely, Kylock. Is that what you're I'm assuming we're gonna have to get blasted into. Yup. We're gonna have to get like knocked back into these. So I'm just pre positioning myself. This is like something you have to do in a later content that. Uh, bane of my existence. It's not the Delriata, but it's Bosjov. That I know. Is it the Delriata? I don't remember. Whee! Oh. And I got left behind for a bit. Cortana, thank you for the clip. Oh, that was a fast one. Fender had no time to get away from that. Storm coming. Might go to the gutter. I mean, death from vibin. Bonk. You can't blame this community. That was your own choice. All right, let's go. Welcome to the gutter life. May I take your order? Was this the Good Burger? Home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, this music is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night, but... So this, you used to have to attack these, like, airships as they came flying in, but I don't think we can anymore. They still, like, give us waves. But we can't destroy him anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the good burger home of the good burger. Can I take your order? Exactly. Airstone. Wait, we need that. Oh, Anna was already on top. <laughs> Me and Wolf were excited, okay? 
Hey! Whee! Look at us go. Da, 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 da. I credit this community? That's fair. That's fair. You know, giving credit where it's due. <coughs> ah. Da, 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 da. Does Good Burger have good burgers? I have no idea. It was a show or movie? I think it was a movie. Well, they had a movie for sure. I just can't remember if it was also a show. There they are. I think it was all that. This is all that. This is all that. Yeah, it might have been. And then they made a movie from it. That might be right. It's been a long time. Ugh. No, I'm good. Ah! Whee! A sequel titled Gerd Burger 2 is scheduled to be released. I'm sorry? In 2023? They are really pulling and hoping I'm millennial and nostalgia. Literally nobody younger than us knows what the fuck that is. Why would they do it now? Oh, I could do single target. Eh. Ow. Mm -hmm. Seems a little late. All right. Are we gonna stop a summoning? Hello? That does not look like an Ixel. That's the swollest Ixel I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry? Oh, okay, I got it all. This is the swollest Ixel. Tozal Wattle. Quattle. Quattle, probably. I got map in the realm. Look at me go. Do, do, do. Ixel, you mean Ixwole. <laughs> Fair. Shame on me. Do, 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 do. Stackies. Actually, it wasn't that bad. There's so much damage going out, but it's like not, it's not a lot. It's just multiple times of raid wide. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we succeeded in not summoning Garuda. Come here, wolf. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's fine. Luckily, you could get out of that. Oh, she just fucked off? Okay. What? What? I'm sorry, what just happened? Oops. Oh, stackies again. Oh no, can I can I bubble in time? Bubble! <laughs> I don't know if that was in time. But I tried. Fuck your arrow, buddy. <laughs> Nice! We did it! Oh, cutscene though. It's fixel. Mm. Both good. We did it! Look at us cuties. Hell yeah. 
Gotta bounce now. Take care, Cortana. Have a lovely... Oh, hi, Alphano. <laughs> Have a lovely evening and take care of yourself, Cortana. Assuming Fender's not the one who pressed the lever, but Fender might have been the one that pressed the lever. <laughs> he just fucking left. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Oh. Wait, hold on. Cut so them. they were unable to see the ritual to its completion. Good. Then Garuda is no longer a threat, and whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come to naught. But we should not tarry. The Knights have secured our path to safety. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the primal without us. Okay, that was the weirdest voice ever for the Warrior of Darkness. If that was him. You! Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, oh, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. A challenge accepted. Do mine ears deceive? A boy. So that's the way of it. Twins. Oh, she shot Ellie Say. You had me worried for a moment there. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. Enough, Jarumal. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? That sounds more like him. You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it? Of the Great Sundering and the reflections it created? Across ten and three they were divided, reflections of the source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. Hmm. But not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before, on a world far removed from ours. The Thirteenth, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies, and with their aid came here, to the source. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. 
the Arda. Calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. I get, like that it looks like they're just wearing a t-shirt under that robe. All right. Well, that happened. All things considered, we should be grateful to have survived that encounter. Do you think it could be true that to save their world, they must bring ruin to ours? No. No, it matters not. Such wanton destruction is beyond justification. Whatever their reasons, they must be stopped. The sacrifice, the loss, it ends here. All right, I got music. How's that music? Oh, I got that card too. Grounded. Okay. I got that, whatever that is. Uh, two sides of a coin. Alphano would like nothing more than to get out of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The knights can appraise Lord Edmont of our, of our success, and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment of yourself if you wish. I will be at the uh, congregation. Okay. I thought he was going to say <laughs> Kairugan again. All right. Let's go. Hi, husband. It brings me joy to see you safely return to us, Cat. What news from Zelfatal? Then we are not too late. We were not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for we who remained behind, Mistress Ishtola has been tending to Mistress Alice in your absence, and I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She's a resilient one, much like her brother. Aww. Cute. Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother, thanks to the kindness of our hosts. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. Thank you, my friend. I take it your mission was a success. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians, But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scions' stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asians' involvement.
Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. Oh. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation. And the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise. But Alizé and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asian's dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. Oh. I have dealt with the Nath before. <clears throat> Let us consult with Orianja, then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. But, Alizé, you... You are more than welcome. After hmm. all, it was you who set us upon this path. Good. Good Wait boy, a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. Outfits? Outfits? Wait, me or Alice? Which I mean, both is fine. Both is good. But who? Whomst? Home? Whomst? New outfit, new clothes? Alpha, no. Oh, shit. I'm too excited about the clothes. To think that three of us plummeted... Plumbed? Plum plumbed. The depths of the coils and confronted Bahamut himself. Had I not been there, I would struggle to believe it. Shortly after we parted ways, I heard that she had taken the to the road on her own. Apparently on a journey of self-discovery. Precisely where to, I never learned though I suspect that but was by design. So she enjoyed hearing tales of our exploits, did she? Hmm. I don't have a voice for Alice. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Oh, I love this outfit. So it was for Alice, it wasn't for me, but that's fine. She deserves something new from ARR. Right then, shall we be off? Tataru never ceases to impress, though for a moment I fear she might furnish you with an identical outfit. 
praise the twelve she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of us, making us wear matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the stadium when the girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered? Sister, please! Sh she was not my... <clears throat> Can we not have this discussion in the front of the Warrior of Light? <laughs> I want to know what she said. So be it. Another time, perhaps. To be honest, Cat, I wasn't planning on seeking you out just yet. When I set forth on my journey, I did so with great ambitions. Grand ambitions, you could say. As you may recall, I promised I would not disappoint you. I pray you will forgive me if I do. Uh... A pleasure to have you with us. New garments aside, I must say that you seem different, more resolute than when last we met. You have a look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then, and see if Orion J can be of assistance. Alright, let's go! To the Pray return to the Waking Sands. Or, no, I used to call him Addy Cut. Or, I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, cussing! Straight away. Okay. Oh, no, I have to voice arc. I was not prepared. Please hold. <clears throat> Orion J, apologies for calling upon your na you oh my god. Apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Why, Master Alpha no. Would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming. What bringeth thee and thine here to this day? The warriors of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. I too have heard tales in recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, the seventh but to spur the serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals in redoubled effort fervor. Fervor? Fervor. We have two objection objectives at this time. To identify and remove the source of the Beast Tribe's crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixil's plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians did not have similar designs elsewhere, of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither. For this very day I did I receive tidings most troubling from across the strait of Merth Merlthor. Ogamoro stirreth, and there are whispers that the Lord of Craigs neareth his return. Mere rumors, mark thou, but in light of thine own discoveries, thou canst still afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye, we must ascertain the truth of the matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, Cat. Thank you for your counsel, Urianje. Pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. Ali say. If I may, brother, Urianje, is there anything else you would like to say? Ali say. If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Ardor had the power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I have heard tell of a promising tome, the Garen Oracles. 
Mayhap you could start there. She's peering into his soul. By thy leave. <laughs> Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. I would not cross Alisa. So. <laughs> the Ale Lord Evo, I can't. Damn it, I looked at chat and they broke me. <laughs> Staring into his soul. Seven hells at this rate, I'll have to appeal the Maelstrom command for reinforcements. Hmm? Whatever it is, we don't want any. You know who I am, bitch. Well, fancy that. Just when my cobalt problems look like coming to a head, the scions of the Seventh Dawn turn up. Itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing it is. It is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. Alright. My body's ready. Unlikely allies. Commander Blowedwin is ex eager to put you to work. So our friendly neighbors in Ungamora, Ungamoro have m got much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scouts spotted one sniffing about the shores, stores just now, likely looking to make off with uh, an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm about to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for the little bugger, would ya? I'm guessing he's literally right behind- oh no, it's Alpha. Okay, never mind. Our maelstrom friends seem notably more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? A kobold in the camp, you say? That would appear to corroborate Orion Jay's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their effort is passing strange. Well, there will be time to think of this later. For a present, for the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan summoning, and that means finding and questioning this kobold. Let's go find a kobold chat. Kobold Ling. <gasps> He's so small. So stay back. Away. Far away. I am not, not, uh, not a... God, it's no use. Pointless. Hopeless. No use. Oh, he's so fucking small. P -p -p Please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes. Just talk. I g g ah! I don't really remember how I make kobolds talk, so. Yellow. Oh shit. This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But if I tell no one, then no one will. Everyone will. Gah, he found me again. What to do, what to do, what to do. I, I come in peace, only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So please, please do not hurt me. So this was our wild kobold, inf wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. <laughs> Huzzah, we've got him. Fine work, Scions. So, little one. Thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal my crystals, were you? No, no, no. I came to talk. To ask for help. But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and I shouted and I... I... They shouted. Now, uh, now, now. Let us all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Pikmin Gabu of the 620th Order. At least, I will be a Pikmin one day. Well met, Gabu. Uh, I am Alpha No, and this is my sister, Alice. Cat, the man who found you, is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends, too. Now, Commander Blodwin here thinks you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu. But you said that you came here to talk, or to ask for help. Why to us, and not your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I am... Uh... No one is going to hurt you, alright? Not while we're here, I promise. The, the page 
patriarch. He he's the patriarch is going to summon the great father again, and you have to stop him. Beat him, fight him, stop him. Ooh, Baron, that's a hard scratch. Don't do that. Ooh. You okay, baby? He was scratching his jaw so hard. Sorry, I had to stop that. Baron. Gentle. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with so many others. But the patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. He said that if we didn't have iron in their hearts, if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coke for furnace. And then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. Coke for the furnace? I do not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of Fakai fashion fashioned fossi faka from the bones of beastmen which worshippers used in their rituals hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods by the 12 this is that is sickening no one listens to gabu no matter how much he cries pleads begs cries they do not listen only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the great father Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents, too. So please help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan summoning is in imminent. Should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Cobalt Stronghold, secure their crystals, and free the prisoners. Prisoners. Well, if you're sure. You'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready just in case. It's okay, I got those. It's fine. Maybe. Maybe. I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We would surely have detected the associated etheric disturbance had Titan manifested already. But I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy. That they would even contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers... Time is of the essence. We must see what else Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. Alright. Gabu. The beast that mourned at the heart of the mountain. Shifting nervously from foot to foot, Gabu struggles to meet your gaze. I hope great father Titan loves crystals, cherishes covets, loves them. And if we gather enough, he will return. That's why the patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. So I was thinking if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come. Very good, Gabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Do you know where these crystals are stored? I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Several pot spots, each defended by different order. Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. But together we can take them away and hide them. Come, come. Gabu will lead you to the first cache. Okay. Perfect. Love that for us. Oh, wait. It's up this way, I think. Gabu, let's go. Quickly, quickly. Oh, no. I did. <laughs> Sorry. Cache of crystals. Do you have them all? Good. Lead on, Gabu. This way, this way. I'm in the box. All right. All right. Let's do this one. Oh, I don't even have to talk to anyone. Oh, never mind. Okay. Time is short. If you have the crystals, we should move on to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother? I, I. It's just that... I am quite certain that crate once boorish guardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces. But enough remains to make out the pattern. See for yourself. I struggle to imagine kobolds traveling to Corthus to obtain crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Vilbrand by another party, most likely Pawn of the Asians, as Thancred speculated. I don't understand. Who are the Asians? Do they worship Great Father Titan too? Ah, uh, never mind you about that. As Alice said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cache, Gabu? Yes, 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 of course. Gabu knows the way. 
this next one is the last and is very large. Very big. Very huge. Very large. Very huge. Very large. Hmm. That's what they said. Oh my god. Fake. Calm down. Though you cast about for a time, you see no sign of the crystals. Oh shit. Can you turn off the fate music? Thank you. Confound it. How about you, cat? Any luck? Nothing, nothing, nothing. This cannot be. Kaboo saw them. Spied, spotted, saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them, yes. The question is, where to and why? Within Ogomoro, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again. It is the only explanation. What about mother and father and the others? We have to help them! And we will, Gabu. We will. Stay calm. We still have time. They have yet to call the remaining crates, yes? If they had, then they would have found the other crates' caches empty and sounded the allurum. Nevertheless, I believe the time of for stealth has passed. We must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan summoning. But first, give me your crystals, that I might deliver them into Commander Blowedwin's custody. We dare not ask them to... We dare not take them into the bowels of the mountain. Yeah, that's a bad plan. I think, if I'm allowed to, I think I'm going to be deeps for this, because just it'll go faster. The crystals, cat, if you would be so kind. Here you go. Thank you. I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief Commander Blodwin on the situation. Pray go on ahead. As I recall, there's an Aetherite within the Ugamora mines that should deliver you to the navel. Gabu doubtless knows the way. Wait for me there, I shall rejoin you anon. Strange, I would have thought you eager to remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you would prefer, then Godspeed, brother. This way, this way! Okay. Hi, Alice. Ah, I take it this is the eighth right we seek. Right then. As soon as Elfino arrives, we go. I trust you're feeling suitably heroic, Cat. There's no telling what sort of resistance we'll face in there. I am suitably heroic, Alice. Always. Maybe it is just a cutscene. My bad. Quickly, you clods! Briskly, swiftly, quickly! I will not suffer any further delays! Lay down your arms and surrender! We have your crystals! There will be no summoning this day! Overdwellers? Here? But how did you? Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Mother? Father? Coke for the furnace, you monster! How could you? I... We are but servants for the Lord of Craigs. We are his. That he may drink of our blood and partake of our flesh. That he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the overdwellers. No, Alice, not yet. I understand, Patriarch, I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people. Anything to deliver them from despair. Whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith, kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. But this is not... But it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your god and work with us, together. 
to build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience. Oathbreakers, all of you. Liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. You take and you take and you take. And when you have had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise this, that this time, this time is the last until you grow hungry again. And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. That our god drains the land of Aether and brings not but suffering. Death, destruction, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands. You will not you ruin ours. I said I'd come for you. And I did. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Say something, please. Please. Please! I'm not crying, you're crying. Wake up, wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up! Ugh. Seven hells. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Alpha, no. Leave him to me. We must away. No joke, Tali has come up to me and started sniffing my face to see if I'm okay because I was crying. <laughs> Hi, Tali. Oh, God. Gaboo breaks my fucking heart. Tali, though. Tal Tali, please. I swear. Ugh. By the Twelve, how could I be so foolish? I should have known better than to let Gaboo accompany us, given all what we were like to find. His anguish and despair both served to birth a primal, just as surely as would the supplications of the faithful. Worse, being born of such tumultuous m emotion, this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of not but violence. If we have one cause for optimism, it is that while car many crystals were present, they represent but a fraction of the quality quantity intended for the summoning ritual. Which means, meaning that Titan must be far weaker than planned. Be that as it may, he is yet a primal. And the longer we leave him to bleed the land of Aether, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave Ogamoro, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally the troops, and the cycle will continue. Cat, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Craigs once more? Thank you, my friend. Alice and I will tend to Gaboo. When you have finished with your prim the Primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We will be expecting you. Oh, there it is! Pop goes the weasel. Let's do it. Da 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 da. 
All right, full party, let's go. All right, these are people. Look at all these cuties. Hey. Oh god, the smoke. Did I say hi? I didn't. I said it and say. Oops. Hold on. Okay, now I can fight. <gasps> Do we overlap songs? I think not, as long as I play a different song. Oh god. Oh god, please. Oh, maybe they do overlap each other. Oh, God. Or maybe it just happened. No, they're pl they're both happening. They just, like, you can see they toggle on each other, which is so weird. So, like, you'll see mine flash for a second in the same place that it is. I remember. It's been a while since I've been barred and had also had a bard in my party. The music, though. Oh, God. No! Oh, why did I stop? Okay. Did I somehow, like, press in? Does that make me run slower? I don't know what I did. Center is going to go off last. Now I'll move. Oh, well. Mother, father, I can't, I can't find you. Oh, God, that's so sad. Oh, it's me again. It knows. <gasps> yeah, don't get, don't get knocked off. Thank you. Oh, God, please. Not again. <laughs> good at not getting out of those AoEs in time. Wake up! I guess it should be said in Titan's voice. Wake up! <laughs> why, 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 why? Oh. Those are so fast. This music. Boppers. Okay, these go off last. I can't target him! Because it just wants to target the boulders! Thank you. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. Woo! Fucking box. We did it. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, they have a cute portrait. <laughs> oh, there's a loot. Nah, I'm good. I don't like the Titan stuff. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for joining. Thank you all so much. Hey, hell yeah. I appreciate you all so freaking much. Da, 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 da. Wee! Oh. <laughs> I was like just on the edge of jumping off. We saw everything. How dare you, Cap? <gasps> How dare you? Thank you for the clip. Hey! Songs no stack? Wait, was there a stack and I missed it? Titan. Titan. Hell yeah. All right. Oop, arrow. Ah, there he is. Did I not tell you he would return safe and sound? The deed is done then. Titan is no more. Thanks to help of my friends. Good. There has been enough tragedy this day. He has been like that since he regained consciousness. 
We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempts to respond. He is almost certainly still in shock, but... But we cannot discount the possibility that he succumbed to the Primal's influence. Should that prove to be the case... He must be put to death, like any other thrall. Such is the Alliance's policy, yes. You have the right of it. But we must not rush to conclusions. After all, we once feared that Ali Say's followers were beyond reason, and may ha many have since laid down their arms and accepted Ishgard's peace. We can but watch, wait, and pray. I refuse. I will not raise a hand to this child. You can fuck right off. Is what you can do. Oh, I should have said thank you for playing. I didn't even do that. My bad. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Beneath a star-filled sky, Alphano would rather not worry about what may or may not come to pass. There is not to be gained from dwelling on an eventuality over which we have no control, much less one which may never... He said which like five times. Okay, he said it twice, but it felt like a lot. Much less one which... Oh, it's the chuz. May never even come to pass. Let us tend to more immediate matters. Informing Commander Blodwin of Titan's demise, for example. You may be certain that he will be glad of the news. Would you be so kind as to break it to him? I don't know if I really care. Are you okay, Gaboo? Oh, you're a cipher sore eyes. When the others came back without you, I feared the worst, but they said you had matters well in hand. All settled then, is it? I'm glad to hear it, but not half as glad as my men will be. You'll believe me. Believe you me. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not he was summoned properly, the primal's a primal. And there ain't a soul in the maelstrom that hasn't lost a friend to one. Don't get me wrong, like, we were all prepared to do our part, but we weren't so naive as to think we'd live to tell the tale. Thankfully, of course, it didn't come to that. Which, my friend, sounds to me like a cause for celebration. I don't- I'm not in the mood for celebrating, bruh. Now, I know you have a lot of places to be, but why not stay the night? We'd be honored to raise a glass to the triumphant return of Titan's Bane. I'm gonna just be sad over here, it's fine. This is not much of a party, bro. Oh, Kaboo's still walking around and following her, though. Who goes there? Oh, it's voiced. It's just me. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. <sighs> it's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness, I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. But when Grandfather revealed the whole truth of the calamity to us, I finally understood. And I resolved there and then to continue his legacy in my own way. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. 
There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course, it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Urianger, of you. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. I traveled far and wide with two companions, a Stinian and a Sail, who were very... Or under some rather unique circumstances, I had the pleasure to fight alongside Sir Emmerich. Or when Alphano and I came at last to the Dravanian hinterlands. Hmm. I think she'd be most interested, as much as I'm like husband, I think she'd be most interested to hear about Estinian and Isale. Especially Isale. I think she'd actually, her and Isale would have gotten along well. Gods! They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. Mm -hmm. I dare say you managed to keep the peace, though. Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone into behaving. <laughs> the hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. Fights the urge to break out into Black Parade. I love how Ali says character development was. Both twins are so good. Such good people. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Every tool has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say! It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Mm. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Assians alone. With thine own hand, strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. 
Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher mm -hmm. and a creed I hold close to my heart. Is that not the exact words that Ali Say just said? Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, so too shall I. I guess the game's like, if you haven't figured it out by now, here's major hints. So like, I'm still not gonna say in case you haven't figured it out who the masked man is, but those were some massive hints there as to who that is. What ho? Don't you call me a ho. Watch your mouth. <laughs> what ho, cat? I trust you had a good night's rest. I was but this moment speaking with Thancred and Ishtola via Link Pearl. They had some interesting news to share. Apparently, during the course of their respective investigations, both came across crates which had once borne Ishgardian seals. Twould seem that someone in the capital has been very busy lately, indeed. Accordingly, the Temple Knights have launched a full-scale investigation. Sir Emmerich believes it is only a matter of time before the culprits are found, but we shall have to wait and see. In the meantime, it seems only prudent to look into the recent activities of the other tribes, in case they too are flush with Ishgardian crystals. And with that in mind, I suggest we pay Orianje another. Wait, where's our Ali Say? She was here but a moment ago with Gabu. Mother, f I just want to get out of here. Oh, cutscene. Ah, let me guess. It's time to leave, isn't it? My apologies for disappearing again. If it's any consolation, I have already packed my things. How is he? Brother, Commander Blodwin, something tells me you are not solely he out here for the concern of his welfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak nor eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, he seems none the better for it. He just shuffles about with the same expression on his face. Well, you will look after him, won't you, Commander? And treat him with every kindness. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and despair, he's still fighting with all of his heart. He deserves to be given that chance. Until he comes back to us. Until we know for certain what has become of him. Aye, aye, you needn't worry. If he hadn't risked his neck to warn us and help you secure the better part of the crystals, this could have turned out to be a damn worse sight worse than it did. We'll not soon forget that, and nor will Maestrom command. I'm so sorry, Gabu. I truly am. You should never have been made to. And I cannot possibly understand. Mayhap there is nothing I can do or say. 
the pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to the memories of better times. Remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much that your heart feels fit to burst, let it burst. Let it burst and fill up again with your love for them. And never, ever forget. Come along, little one. I... I will remember them. And you, Ali say. Thank you. Aww. Have faith, sister. Your words have reached him. In time, he will recover. And those who orchestrated these events will be made to answer for their crimes. A thousand times over, I. There will be a reckoning. See once I get in here. The answer would not surprise you. We heard the glad tidings from Ogamoro, Ogamoro, my friends. By the grace of the Twelve and your most valiant efforts, the people of Limsalamensa may rest easy. I should like to think so, yes. Though we failed to prevent the Lord of Craigs from manifesting, we did succeed in weakening him. Enabling our friend to dispatch him before the Warriors of Darkness could make matters worse. T'was by no means an unmitigated success, but it will have to suffice. Then let us speak of another matter, one which weigheth heavy on my lady's mind. As thou didst request, I sought out the Gurren or Oracles, that we might better understand the aims of the Warriors of Darkness. Though their copia- through their- no, it's though- Though their copious use of allegory defi defieth any single interpretation, the oracles paint a most disturbing picture, one of worlds parallel to our own, apart yet linked, reduced to ruin with every umbral calamity. Seven times did they succeed. Then of ten of three, only six worlds remain. Aye, all, as, all is as my lady Menphilius spoke unto thee. As for what becometh of these reflections, when they and the source are rejoined, frail flesh undone in umbral fires, each soul surrendereth to her call, to flow unto the endless sea, there to endure as one and none. Then, then if the warriors of darkness succeed, everyone in the world will die? In essence, I. The verse speaketh of the renunciation of the flesh and subsequent return to the life stream. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative. For if the first were to fall to transcendent light in the manner of the war in the manner the warriors of darkness described, it would give way unto a void wherein none may know either life or death. Far better to die, they reason, for the in death there is life. The essence of a soul which returneth unto the source may be born anew, saved. Such, at least, is their belief, I surmise. If that is true, then, gods, no one should ever have to make such a choice. Ere we speak further on the subject, I would share with thee another recent discovery. It would seem that several sizable shipments of crystals have been delivered into the hands of a certain Alamegan parties. Alamegans? Strange. And you believe this to be the work of the sameish guardian smugglers who supplied the beast tribes? I know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Unless thou wonder at their motive, I would remind you that the Assians did once attempt to bring about the summoning of Ralgar. The individuals who took receipt of these shipments are refugees belonging to a group devoted to the cause of Alamegan liberation. It may also interest thee to know that their Ishgardian suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of 
Aline, Aline, Royale's network of spies. Surely you jest. And yet, it is not so surprising. Bereft of leadership and hunted by the Alliance, I can well imagine vi such villains being desperate enough to conspire with the Asians, assuming they even know or care who their employers are. All of which is irrelevant. Forgive me. We must seek out the resistance group, which received the crystals without delay. Cat, Alice, will you come with me to Little Alamigo? <coughs> yes, of course. I should like to hear what they have to say for themselves firsthand. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Alice is so fucking sus and I love it. <laughs> She ain't taking any such shit. Oh, shit. Alpha no. Alice, Cat, are you three listening? Good, I have tidings. The Temple Knights raided the smuggler's warehouse less than an hour ago. A cursory interrogation of the prisoners yielded information that they were in the employ of, and I hope you are sitting down, a man in black robes. Then you have them, and the crystals too. What few remained, I Regrettably, it would seem they dispatched one final shipment in the hours before we struck. T'was bound for Little Alamigo, we were told, where it will be received by members of the local resistance group. Since Sir Emmerich's man men no longer have need of my services, I have a mind to head that way. As do we, by happy coincidence. We learned of the shipments but a few moments ago. Ha! <laughs> And here I was thinking I might finally be one step ahead of the Warrior of Light and his little helpers. Ah, wait a moment. There is more. And I defy you not to be surprised by this revelation. The leader of the Ashgardian smugglers was formerly in the employ of one Eline Royale, the famous Ivy herself. Infamous. Once again, Thancred, I fear I must inform you that. Thancred, with whom else have you shared this information? About the smugglers? No one. As I think I mentioned, the raid was less than an hour ago. I was planning to contact Ishtola next, but is there someone else you would have me to notify first? No. There isn't. Okay. No. I don't know what that's about, actually. <laughs> I don't know why she was, like, concerned about that. What in the world has gotten into her? It is twice now that we have sought Orianje's aid, and twice she has treated him as if he were a stranger. The Archon was one of the grandfather's most des dedicated pupils, and spent as much time with the Levier estate as we did. He is practically a member of the family. Truth be told, I struggle to recall a day from my childhood when I did not see the three of them laughing together. And this, if this continues, I may have to raise the matter. Later, though, little amigo awaits. All right. So Alphano's picking up on the weirdness too. Not just us. Hi, Alice. I will get to the bottom of this. Oh, forgive me. I was... It has been a long day. Did you have something to say? Mood. Arian J. Oh, I... I've always struggled to understand what's going on in his head. Now more than ever. Listen, Cat. If the anything should happen, it should be me who... Just know that I am prepared to do what must be done. Right then, to more pressing matters. Since we have no idea when Thancred might arrive, I suggest we see that what information we can gather in his absence. Okay. When we were free, Alphino is eager to get to work. So, to review, we are reliably informed that members of the Alamegan Resistance operating here have taken receipt of several large shipments of crystals, our task being to ascertain who and why. Given the size of the settlement, I find it hard to believe that anyone here could be wholly unaware of the Resistance movements. The challenge, of course, will be finding individuals who are both able and willing to share such information with outsiders. It would seem sensible to divide our forces. Cat, why don't you question the res residents of the eastern half of town? Alice and I will do the same in the west, and afterwards we can rendezvous here to share our findings. Honestly, if I run into anybody we've met before, I don't remember at all their voices, so you'll... Eh, uh, the resistance. Damned if I know. It's not as if I'd be any use to them. 
if you set store by all these tales of secret weapons. Good luck to you. But I'm too old for the mask's bedtime stories. This is our lot, and it's time we get used to it. Oh, let me guess. Come in to join the fight, have you? No need to deny it, friend. You're not the first to answer the Griffin's call. While he's, lit, while he's lit a fire in every Alamegan's heart, he's also inspired more than a few oldens to pledge themselves to the cause. And little wonder, the Garleans won't stop until we're all under yoke. Okay. Tailbot. I see you there, going around and asking questions, looking for the Griffin and his lot, I bet. Seems they're the talk of the little Alamigo these days. Folk wondering what he's about. What he's got in store for the Garleans. And what's under the mask of his, of course. Some say he's hardly got a face. What with all the scars. Others reckon he's been marked for death by the Empire, and that they'd send a bloody legion if they knew he was here. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Alright. I suppose I should ask what you learned, but I think I already know. This griffin seems to be the leader of a newly formed faction within the Resistance, the Masks. Yet despite their growing popularity, no one seems to know much about them. Only that they are the most aggressively mili militant group to join the movement in recent memory. Indeed, many claim their commitment to the cause of the Alamegan liberation is unrivaled. We can but hope their revolutionary fervor is never channeled in the direction of a primal. Though I feel con Though I feel confident that this is the group which received the crystal shipments, we yet lack proof. Before taking any action, I should speak with the settlement's leader to confirm my suspicions, and may happen list his help while I'm about it. Given that you and Gundabald are already acquainted, mayhap it would be best if you took the lead, shall we? I... I don't remember his voice. Much as it pleases me to see you again, Cat, I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. I hear you and yours have been asking questions. Maybe. The Griffin. Aye, I know of him, as do we all. He and his masks have become a leading faction within the Resistance. Though there was suspicion at first given his secretive ways, he quickly proved himself a charismatic and capable commander. Men are drawn to his passion and his vision. They truly believe that he has what it takes to lead them to victory. Even I cannot help but admire the man for what he's accomplished. But I have not forgotten Wilred. I was blind to the danger of his ambitions, and you were not. Also F's in chat for Wilred. The Griffin will soon deliver a speech to our people at the sunken temple of Karn. Go see him with your own eyes. Weigh his words with your own heart. How convenient. Tis but a pity Thancred is not here to join us. You two go on ahead. I shall stay behind and wait for him. Okay. Let's go see what a bitch has to say. Who the fuck is the Griffin? What is going on here while we've been distracted? Has it begun already? I hear voices coming from within. It's blocked off. Excuse me? Is this voice acted? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Brothers and sisters. Yes. 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Garlean Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandoned them, our own flesh and blood, to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out. Building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. 
We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandon them, the meek and powerless, to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass, to sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Eorzean Alliance will do naught to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us. But no more. Blood demands blood. And the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it. And together, we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Abania once more. A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. Wait, is that... Eh? Hey, our friends! I'd know those boobs anywhere. What are you two <coughs> doing here? <coughs> I could ask you the same thing. Well, well, this is quite the surprise. If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel... Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? Uh, should we not finish listening to the speech? Okay, guess we're not. If you're wondering why I said that in a previous cutscene, they just closed in on Ida's boobs for some reason, even though she's wearing a mask and like it wasn't necessary. Um, it was just purely boob. Oh my God. Oh shit. Words cannot express how glad I am to see you both alive and well. And you, though it was pretty obvious you and Kat would be fine. The Crystal Braves never had a realistic chance of capturing any of the Scions, divided as they were and distrusted by the better part of Eorzea. But if you truly believed that, forgive me, what exactly have you two been doing all this time? Repaying a favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but to flee Olda and we would not have been able to do so without the aid of some old friends from the Resistance. That's right. They smuggled us out of the city and sheltered us in Little Alamigo, all at great risk to, th to themselves. Obviously, we couldn't let that go unacknowledged, so we offered to help out them out with their operations for a while. When we learned of the Scion's exoneration, that Lola Rito had severed all ties with the Crystal Braves, and that General Roban had been reinstated, we resolved to make contact. But having long since discarded our Link Pearls as a precautionary measure, our options were rather limited. To make matters more complicated, we were embroiled in a delicate operation at the time, leaving me with little choice but to entrust a letter to a courier. I gather from your puzzled expressions, however, that you never received it. To be honest, we thought this might happen. While the Masks are happy to let the refugees spread the word within the community, they're pretty strict about communicating it with outsiders. Oh, and we also heard a rumor that the Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. 
The Griffin mistrusts the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Curious. It is well known that we are no friends to Garlemald. One would think the man we saw beseeching all in sundry to join his cause would welcome our support. Ah, I should say that the man you saw was not in fact the Griffin, but an impersonator. And a talented rabble-rouser to boot. Twould not surprise me if he were responsible for the majority of these public appearances. As you may have gathered, the Griffin is an extremely cautious and distrusting man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Even when we participated in a raid under his direct command, we were not permitted to approach him. It's hard to know what to make of, all, of it all. The secrecy, the impersonators, the masks. <laughs> Damn it, she's just like Urian J with the whole thing of not realizing that they're talking about themselves. What? It's not as if I'm making all of you wear one, and mine only covers half my face. It's completely different. <laughs> anyway, when we heard the Griffin was due to give a speech, we thought it might be a good opportunity to get better sense of the man behind the uh to get a better sense of the man. For all the good it did. And now you have hold the whole of, heard the whole of it. But tell me, what prompted you to take an interest in the griffin? Summoning? You're not serious. I can't believe it. The resistance would never even entertain such a ridiculous plan. But the griffin? Well, the man is an enigma. I cannot say with any confidence that he would or would not do. What I can say, however, is that the speech we heard today was the not the first to make reference to a power capable of defeating the Empire. The masks have made such many such claims of late. I confess I had assumed it to be mere bluster, but in the context of the shipments of which you spoke, it is not impossible that they were alluding to a primal. Whatever it is, we'll find it out together. And if anyone tries to stop us, they'll answer to me. Indeed. That is, assuming you'll have us. Oh, of course. Oh, da da da. All right. Honorable heroes, Papalimo has a mind to learn the Griffin's true intentions. If, as you suspect, the Griffin is indeed plotting to summon a primal, we must needs obtain confirmation while there is still time to act. To that end, I propose we question his double. Given his role as the group's de facto mouthpiece, I should not be surprised if we were he were one of the Griffin's closest associates. And while he may not be aware of the most sensitive details, he can probably tell us of the mask's plans in broad strokes. Like the man whom the, he impersonates, however, he is very wary of outsiders. He will not expose himself without a suitable incentive. My plan is as follows. You and Alphano will pose as adventurers fallen on hard times, inspired by his words to take up arms for a noble cause. Ida and I, as members of the Resistance, will recount tales of your past achievements and testify as to your usefulness in the struggles ahead. With your, our enthusiastic assurances still ringing in his ears, he will decide to welcome you in person, and we'll arrange a meeting. You will need to look at the part... Are there, like... Is that person okay? Is everything okay over there, buddy? Oh, he's doing fine. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening behind me? You will need to look the part that we might maintain the charade. Until we have him cornered, at least. Here. This should be enough to purchase suitable garments from Talbot. And to have him rub a respectable amount of dirt on them for good measure. Any questions? I talked to Talbot. It all seems simple enough. Thank you. And with that, cat, let us be off. I'm teleporting, because fuck that. Eh? You want to buy what? I don't know what you're up to, but I want no part of it. Sack of gill! Well, you're the ones with the gill. And seeing as you're friends of Papa Limo, there. Tunic and slops for the both of you. Tailored and, uh, treated to your tastes. Now off with you. Before someone sees us together. Yeah, that's fair. Clothes maketh the man, as they say. 
Right, then. I will go and change and see you at the spot Papalima marked on our maps. What am I supposed to put on? Weathered sheep's tunic and slop, so it's pants and a shirt. I... Well, look at us. A pair of down-at-heel adventurers looking, seeking for a chance to recapture past glories. Yes, this should suffice. And now we play the waiting game. Oh. Is it voice acted? Because I would really love to drink some water and take a break. My thanks, comrades. Yes. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you are planning to summon a primal. Alphino, that's a little too to the point. Alphino, you're giving us away. This is not subtlety. <laughs> I swear to God. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends. Who oh. British Guardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. We're just throwing it out there then. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. I think this is actually the first time we hear her new voice for, uh, from ARR. Ah, the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you, Lord. You are right. I am not the Griffin, but I speak with his voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. We used them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. Now please help me understand how that's not summoning a primal. Because that is lit- that- Sir? I have so many questions. You've got to be joking. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals? None. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. <coughs> Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have no to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Eder and I will find it. Then let us be off. 
Are you perchance the warrior of light? Who's asking? Aye. I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. Oh my god, I want to go back and see. What? On behalf of my brothers and sisters, I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none. Courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. Please don't credit me with this. I do not approve. I know that look, Ida, and I do not <laughs> like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I want to know how Papalimo can see without his glasses. I... I just... Were they just aesthetic? He got contact. If Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. <laughs> oh, I guess we're just standing here watching them walk away. Oh, okay. All right. Quarry mill, he said. Do you remember? Forgive me, you cannot me you cannot be expected to recall every name and face, and besides, it's not as if it matters. I have long admired how you live in the present, how you focus on the problems at hand and always keep moving forward. I try. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. So let us keep moving forward together, cat. We must find and secure those crystals. There is no time for looking back. I'm hoarding all these pieces for something later. One life for one world. Alphano would keep moving forward. If we take the Griffin's double at his word, then the crystals are now somewhere within Zaurak, ready to put it to use by the Amalja. We must appraise Alice of all we've learned. I will join you both in Little Alamigo after I've changed. Oh, I should change too. Oh, shit. Now that Thancred has finally arrived, mayhap you could share your latest findings. Hey, Thancred. Thancred Tan! You mean to tell me that while we were swearing ourselves sick, Ida and Papalimo were here all along? Well, Ishtola will be relieved, and also angry. Mainly angry, I should think. As for the crystals, what choice do we have? We cannot very well leave them in the hands of the Amalja. For all we know, they could be preparing to summon Ifrit even as we speak. We must wake, make for Zaharak without delay. Agreed. If there is naught else to discuss, let us depart at once. What is this perspect? Who is the- oh! And so they go forth, in accordance with the Griffin's plans. The players gather to assume their masks on a stage wreathed in flame. Ere long, the curtain shall rise, and the drama of which I am author, Gods forgive me, shall at last be performed. Naught else remaineth, save, the st save to stand at the ready, and pray that the chance is seized, for never shall we know it's like again. I'm just, I just gotta say, the way you talk, if you want it to be subtle, you gotta not talk that way. So solo duty! 
I confess I expected a warmer greeting. But we must not jump to conclusions, not until we have braved the Bowl of Embers. We must be ready to engage the enemy at any moment. I spit on my mic. If you would make any final preparations, pray do so now. I shall await your signal. Upon preceding the Bowl of Embers, several set cutscenes will play in sequence! It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. My body's ready, chat. Is yours? Just relax harder! The body works in mysterious ways. Quinn, that could not be any fucking truer. And most of them are bad. I mean, cutscene warning! Let's go. Let's fucking do it. This isn't right. The Amalgia would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. Oh shit! It's a bunch of bitches. <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. By the twelve, will you never learn? You know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen. Hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange! Wouldn't you agree? Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. Carbuncle! Defend me! I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Oh! Look at the cutie catch it! Good boy. I sense you will offer more than mere target practice. Unlike your sister. I will physically fight you. Alize! And then they just wreck Alize! I'm gonna fight some people. Did... Did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. My brother was always the clever one, while my talents lay elsewhere. I'm sorry, what move is that so I can do it? As Eorzea's blade of light once stood by my side, now I shall stand at his and defend this realm with all my might. I love Let's my bow blocking this. my face. Let's go! Let's fucking fight. What? No, I didn't understand what you were saying, not. Okay. I'm gonna assume the Lalafell is their healer. We've come too far, sacrificed too much to stop now. You think you're the only ones who have known sorrow? Yeah, you are healing. What is the tethers? You shall fall soon enough. Haha. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. You're invulnerable. Okay, you're the one we need to kill. Kill. Look. 
There's no escape. Ah. Ah. Thankridge is standing in that like a bad. Oh shit. Who's targeting me? Them. Oh, Ardbert. Stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you don't know his name? Shush! Doesn't really matter. It means nothing to you. But no! Shh! Is this the power of the echo? You heard nothing. You're alive again? What happened? Stop it. Magis of Darkness? Oh, wait. You're alive again. What is happening? Why are you alive again? Mods, please time out streamer for spoilers. It literally means nothing to you guys. Shh, you never heard it. I mean, it doesn't, but I was still trying to avoid it. Just because it hasn't been revealed story-wise. Uh, excuse me. Oh, get the ranger. Who's fighting our carbuncle, apparently. Oh my god. Oh, their echo's bringing them back. Again, they rise. Have these warriors no limits? No more games. Okay. That's what's happening. Oh, shit. What is it? Um. Cheater? God damn it. I can't break free. Oh, shit. It ends now. Oh, someone freed us. What? The chains. Oh, look. God, you snake. You would betray us as well. He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. By the Twelve, Oriange. No, you don't say. Never saw it coming. <laughs> Hi, Oriange. How you doing? How, how you doing over there, bro? <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> God, he's hot, though. Mine apologies, Master Alfino. That the brightest light might shine, duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. Aww. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? <laughs> Thou mayest, my lady. Dramatic. By thy leave. Even odds, then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop. Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them. Let's go. Make ready, they come.
Da, 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 da. I am shocked. <laughs> In all fairness, I don't think Alpha No heard him speak. Oh, that makes sense then. I guess, yeah. So I actually failed this the first time. Because I didn't know I was supposed to be interacting with Ali Say? How am I giving... Go to her cat. We will deal with the others. I'm... Okay, well, I'm getting attacked. I've given her all I can. The rest is up to you. How do I give her? I'm... Oh, there it is. Where... Can I... Please. Please. <laughs> Controller. Okay, somebody got him. So he's not attacking me anymore. Thank you, Thancred. Shines brighter. Do I need to give you more? Caution, cat. You mustn't channel so much at once. Okay, I'll wait. Now, Blanhurst. Kill him while he's weak. I'm not weak. What the fuck are you talking about? Not Alpha, no. Ah, ah, not Thancred. Thank you. <laughs> Donut. <laughs> uh oh. Put this away from everyone. Unto her blade we render our aether. My fortune may favor. I think they're all taking turns. Yeah, they're all taking turns giving it. Let it not be in vain. The fate of two worlds hangeth in the balance, cat. Quickly. Oh, my turn? Ariane J, can you not stand in it? Oh. Oh. I'm trying. Too far away! Thine Aether, I'm trying! Okay. Oh no! Well, they're back. This has gone on long enough. Jamal, what did he say? Kill the girl. Cat, the ranger, you must stop her. Well, I already have her ready to kill. Can you heal her fast enough? Nope. Oh, shit. Ah, he's mad. Ah! <laughs> so many AoEs. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, they're they're invincible. Okay. Wait, do I have to give more aether? Blade of light is glowing. Ow. 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 Somebody take him. Ugh. I don't know. Here's all the things. Shit, it didn't work. <laughs> He's still following me. Stop. How am I supposed? I'm too far away. Please. 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 Chaz, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? I guess killing them. Wait, okay. So he's the one after me. Let's kill him. Okay, you're annoying me. Ah! No! Motherfucker! Hide a lane, you're supposed to be on my side! Hold the line, cat. What are you? Kiri? Is that his name? Okay, well, again, he's after me, so I gotta. Oh, wait, is he after me? No, he's distracted. I did it! Finally, Jesus. This is why I failed it, because I don't know what the fuck to do. Is done. With this blade, I banish the darkness. Wee! No. Not like this. I did it. I did it. Mickey Mouse.
house mode engaged. Alize, are you hurt? A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. Mood. <sighs> we are far from finished. <clears throat> Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Crystals? You mean... like the Assians? Just so. As the Assians flee under the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Eloquent, as always. I, like the Assians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> it's like what? Such methods as the Assians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... you would have had to... Hmm. At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there, we never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread, and soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders, and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought, until there was no one left to fight. We won! And now our world is being erased from existence. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. <clears throat> I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. Oh good, they said his name now, so I wasn't that far off from when they reveal his name. <laughs> Aww. I'm not crying. I don't know what you're talking about. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. She sounds like Tataru's voice actress.
to have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal! What is this place? <clears throat> Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. It can't be. Aww. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Your cries go not unheard. Nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Who I can yet save. Minfilia. Blessed children of the first, the light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer! Hmm. As the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Uri Angers, for bringing everyone here. <laughs> it fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Heidelin had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes in whom I glimpsed ourselves, the first. 
How long did I search for a means to save this world? Concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither, there to remain, mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this, not to save her, but to send her away. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Tupsimati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. crystals is all but spent. Perhaps, if there is naught else to be done. Servants of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. Mm. <sighs> we were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this. As one fall to another. Like dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. We made our choice and you see what came of it. So please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart, my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. 
Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. Tissue? Uh. <coughs> it would seem we are in southern Thanalan again. Menphilia is doing, no doubt. May the Twelve speed her on her way, and the Warriors of Darkness, too. I cannot help but wonder what awaits those wayward souls. If they give their li gave their lives in order to travel to the Source, then in returning to the First, would they not... Mayhap that was their wish. I think it was. An ending to mark a new beginning. Is this the last quest of this patch? Because if so, then hey, we're finishing a patch today. Looks like this is the last MSQ in 3.4. Sweet. Also, we get a wind-up Moon Brita to kill my heart. Okay, that's fine. Hmm? Forgive me. My thoughts were elsewhere. And this one, I know full well there is yet work to be done. The crystals... Leave them to me. I will go back to Zaharok and secure them. The Amaldra will still be in disarray after the thrashing the Warriors of Darkness gave them. They are not like to produce... Oops. They are not like to notice a lone bard sulking about. But thank Red, you... Don't have to do this, I know. But I want to. I will see you at the Rising Stones. Did he just call himself a bard? I should go find Ida and Papalimo. They will may have finished searching the masks camp by now. Not that it matters any more. Okay. You must be tired, cat. I know I am. If thou wilt permit me, my lady, I would ask a question. When did when didst thou become aware of mine independent pursuits? When I saw you meeting with the Warrior of Darkness and the Assian in White at the Great Library. I tried not to think the worst. You've never been the one to confide in others, so I knew that even were your intentions pure, you would not share your plans with us until you felt the time was right. But I cannot deny that part of me feared you had simply betrayed us. Would that there had been another way. Know that I take, took no pleasure in deceiving thee and that these sins will forever weigh heavy on my heart. I understand why you did what you did. That you, that you but sought to achieve the greatest good, the greater good, while influencing the le least harm. Not many would have the courage to make that choice. But even knowing what came of your actions, I find that I cannot condone them. I'm sorry. Cat, forgive me, but I believe the events of today have taken their toll on me. I should like to rest a while. If thou wilt grant me leave, I would gladly escort thee into the refuge of mine, thine own choosing. Once my lady hath regaineth her sh regained her strength, we shall join thee at the Rising Stones. Until then, Warrior of Light. Okay. Alright. Hi, Papa Limo. Oh, shit. Whoa, Matt Cat. Alpha No said you would be joining us. Twould seem the Griffin's double was telling the truth, insofar as we found nothing resembling a sizable cache of crystals in the Mask's camp. Did you perchance find one in Zaharak? 
It's a long story. Actually. <laughs> I don't believe it. The crystals, Menphilia, all of it. It's just... I don't know what it is. I sympathize, Ida. Even now, I struggle to comprehend that which I saw. The only thing I can say with any certainty is that I feel blessed to even have granted a final chance to speak with her. Yeah, rub it in their face. Twas bittersweet, I, but also affirming. Alpha, no. I believe it is past time Ida and I rejoined the Scions. We have been far away. We have been away for far too long. Though I am loath to leave the Griffin to his own devices, I feel our investigation would be benefit from your more dispassionate perspectives. And I hope that we might, in turn, offer our own opinions on the many challenges that you have faced in our absence. Gods, it has been absolutely ages, hasn't it? I can't wait to hear about everyone's adventures. We should be glad to recount them, and Tataru's tales may, may well surprise you. I'm sorry. Ida? Ida! Rauger be praised! It is you! Ida! Alive and standing be here before me! In the flesh! I can hardly believe my eyes! I... er... Oh, come on now. Has it really been so long you don't remember me? It's Gundabald. I fought... I fought beside your father in the revolution. Do not think less of her, friends. It's been 20 years since the occupation sent us our separate ways, but the resistance were always welcome in Little Alamigo. They gave us hope, and young Ida most of all. I, Ida here, was always full of fire, ever the first to volunteer for a mission. Until the day she up and vanished, that is. There were rumors, and we feared the worst, but here you are, alive and well, looking nary a day older. Well, what can I say? I I'm sorry for running off like that and making you all worry. It's a long story, but you see, I I got involved with my friends here, the Scions. Oh, sorry, we were still the circle of knowing back then. Right. Uh, anyway, I wanted to come back and tell you, but it was all very secretive stuff at the time, and uh, as you can see, I'm completely fine. I know we've got a lot to talk about, and we will. But right now, I've got to hurry back to our headquarters. My friends are expecting me. Pray forgive her. It has been a very long day for us all. I promise we will visit again at first opportunity. Let us return to the Rising Stones. Well, that was awkward. Hells take me for giving you that mask. What is happening? <laughs> I know what's happening, but what's happening? Welcome home, Cat. I trust your journey was uneventful. You will be pleased to hear that Thancred has secured the crystals. He sent word a short while ago. Once he has delivered them safely into the Temple Knight's care, he will rejoin us here and we can declare this matter officially resolved. While awaiting your arrival, I took the opportunity to contact Ishtola and Kryl and briefed them on all that has occurred. I also requested that they return to the Rising Stones at their earliest convenience. Now that our lost friends have been found, it would seem meet it would seem meet to discuss the future. I've not what a weird way of saying that. Oh, shit. Oh, why is it Ali say off to the side? Back in the Zola. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moon Breeder. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Oh, he's got... Oh, he didn't wear glasses. He was wearing a monocle. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. 
while I am grateful to our friends in the North for their hospitality, it isn't half good to be back. But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. <clears throat> Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companions bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well... My main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the Seventh Dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. You will always be welcome here, Kryle. <laughs> Uriangere, can we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Assians as before? <clears throat> Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust, having so villainously deceived you all. <laughs> now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfidia's wishes. Aww. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? And what will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. <coughs> Mood. Being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable, and we've always got him to keep us from bickering. <laughs> but I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? Oh.
new adventure what else the road goes ever on or to strive for those we have lost for those we can yet save <sighs> isn't that what Minfilia just said to us I have to indeed the path behind us was fraught with hardship and the path before us will be no less unforgiving but a new dawn shall break over the realm and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it So cute. Oh, this is the end of the quest. Look at them, cat. The scions of the seventh dawn. Look how far we've come. The people we've met, the moments we've shared, the losses we've suffered, the tragedies we've overcome. All of it has made us who we are today. Where we go from here and what the future holds, only the twelve know. But I know that we will find out together. I was gonna say no cutscene. I was about to be shocked. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life... <laughs> My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsiamati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois's disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. I shall guard it well. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. Well done, brother. You may resume your normal duties and rejoin the others. The coming battle shall be our greatest yet, and I intend to stand with you all on the glorious day. True belief. Oh, Elidibus. Sorry. True believers are so readily led. I have given them everything they desired, all for which they have prayed. I doubt you can say the same for your pawns. Get what you wanted then? Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected developments, but they were ultimately to our advantage. Be it host to a surfeit, sur surfeit? of light or dark, 
a world bereft of equilibrium is but a void in wa waiting. And a void is no... Oh my god. And a void is of no use to my master. I shall follow her emissary with great interest. As for the pawns whom you so pity, they have delivered unto me a gift, which I do now present to you. Oh shit! Nidhogg's eyes! Uh oh. The eyes of Nidhogg. May we many were candidates considered, but by your deeds, you have proven yourself the most deserving. A man of boundless rage and bottomless despair, and whose breast beats a heart which thirsts for vengeance. Only you are fit to wield these eyes, for weal or for woe. But I have a suspicion? Just based on the clothes I'm seeing right now. Hmm. So it was here all alone. I was right, it is Nero! Ha! <laughs> oh, just you wait, my pretty. You and I are going to have so much fun. laughing to yourself bro <laughs> all right we did it no retreat no surrender i obtained wind up and breathe <laughs>